Maxon Tuckaway. I think it's like a TE-150, something like that. I don't know exactly for sure because it was painted over when I bought it from Ryder. This is what it looks like. And as you see, we got a leak here. The piston started shooting out rust telling me that I'm sure it's the reservoir is probably empty. So we come over here and it's just some hex bolts. So we're taking this side out and I'll show you what it's like after we open her up. Here we got the cover taken off. We got the switches on here up in the top right. Up here. Reservoir here. Looks like it's more than under. Looks like the line's about here, so we definitely have a leak somewhere. So I'm gonna fill that up, and then we'll go back to the lift gate. I know that this piston's already been leaking here, so I'm hoping it used to just be a couple drops. I'm hoping it's not a ring inside the hydraulic ring. Fill that up and we'll see. Using AW32 hydraulic oil, get this at AutoZone or your other local auto store. All right, so we have the reservoir all filled up here. Now, before I put the cover on, obviously, I'm gonna test it and see where we're leaking. My lift gate is weird. I guess that's not weird, but when you go up to lock in position, this, it, it wants to keep going even after it stops. It's supposed to stop. Hear that? That was already caught my head. All right, so we're gonna go down with the switch. Going down smooth. Here it's so it looks like it's leaking out of the reservoir. Which is strange. Let's try going up. All right, so I keep going up and down to get rid of the excess. And down. This is the first time messing with this, just hope it helps someone out there. 
don't see many videos on the max and lift gates. All right, so it's starting to slow down. <laughs> Almost no, no fluid coming out now. It keeps pumping out every time it goes down and the piston pushes the fluid back into the reservoir. So it looks like we're good. Now we're gonna check around the hoses. Keep doing the same thing. All right, so I almost have it. It's almost stopped dripping right now. Um, if you're doing this, I highly suggest starting halfway between the max and the minimum, unlike what I did, um, or else you might end up with a big mess like that. Not a huge deal, but I just gotta, I have to keep going up and down, up and down, until I can get this reservoir under control. I don't want it leaking into the box here. It looks like it's pretty much Guess it's better to have too much than too little. So it's just leaking a little bit now and then we'll go troubleshoot the, the hoses and the piston. All right, so now my reservoir is full. Um, I can see a little bit coming down the piston, a couple of drops here and there, but nothing like whatever caused this on the ground here. I'm not sure if I left a lift gate on it for whatever reason, since it goes up too high when I fold it, or it keeps trying to go higher when it's folded up. You'll see what I mean here. in place it doesn't want to stop trying to go up that's better than what it did before it would just keep doing the cracking so I'm not I'm not seeing any leaks coming from the hoses can't seem to find a leak anywhere. It could be that maybe the rust, the old hydraulic fluid combined with the rust of this older truck had a leak, had a leak somewhere. The lift gate was still turned on, so the motor was running overnight by accident one day. So I'm not sure if that had something to do with it. I'll check back on it in a day or two. Hopefully this helped someone I know there wasn't we haven't really diagnosed the exact problem that made this happen but we'll see what happens in a couple days we'll see what the reservoir looks like and you can see this piston's already pretty wet so we'll check back in a, in a day or two so it looks all good I think this spill was from a previous oil it looks more like oil than hydraulic fluid but it's good that I checked all the lines and everything. See, typically you'd be leaking from these lines here going into the motor and the reservoir. Um, looks like it wasn't the case in my situation. Um, and the, the piston seems to be fine too. No leaking here. There was rust coming out of it and the reservoir was low, so it's good I did that. Hopefully this helps someone out there.